Hey, my name is Terry Sproul and I want to welcome you to my studio. Today I'm excited about showing the Terry Sproul's mixers to you and all the different things you can do with them. So let's get down to my desktop and let's start playing. Okay, we're down here at my desktop now and I wanted to show you the um, two packages that are available presently and we're going to come out with um, more packages in the future. This is the pearl set, which is all basically pearl colors. And this is the shimmer set. And I'm going to explain the difference between the two sets. On the back is all the colors that you're receiving. And a little bit about the product. And we even have a QR code to help you remember how exactly how to use these. So let's get down to business. You're also going to need some 3D crystal lacquer, which is also from Sakura. So these all products are from Sakura Hobby Craft, including this 3D crystal lacquer. So I'm going to mix up some colors for you. Pull off the lid and grab, um, let's grab this one to start with. And I'm going to use a cup to mix my um, mixers into, but you don't necessarily have to. A lot of times when I'm at home, I work directly on a Teflon sheet. So first thing you're going to do is add some of your crystal lacquer into the bottom of your container that you are um, going to be mixing with. You don't need a whole lot. You need about the, uh, about the amount that you would need to cover up the project. Now these mixers will work on any types of sur many different surfaces including glass and metal and as you see they're little powders and I use a, actually a, either a popsicle stick or even a toothpick to pick up the powder because you need very little of this powder the powder is very concentrated and when you mix it into the, the um, crystal lacquer it becomes a paint so this is the lavender paint and it's really really pretty the color there hope you can see that on the camera so basically mixing it into the crystal lacquer I have now made myself a paint this paint can be per painted on many surfaces like I suggested um, right now for just practical reasons I'm going to use paper and the, you can also layer these colors one on top of each other which is a lot of fun so this is the really, really pretty brown that we have. And I thought this would be really fun for the uh, image that I have that I'm going to put on to this little uh, tag that I'm making here. <clears throat> so if I wanted to, I could actually add more colors on top of this particular color. You don't have to just stop with the one color. And most of you already know that crystal lacquer is an adhesive, so while that adhesive is still wet, I can start laying my ephemera right into it. And I can either go over it with some more um, clear crystal lacquer, which is what I'm going to do here. I pour it a little bit out on my um, sheet there, and I can go right over the top of it with the clear crystal lacquer. I still had a little bit of paint on my paintbrush, as you see, because I didn't clean it out. Add a really cute little saying. Let me cut that actually. I think I'm going to cut that. This is a saying that says, to hold dear. So I thought that'd be kind of cute to put on here. So I'm going to put that right there. To hold and dear. Again, real quickly, going to go over that with my crystal lacquer and get basically seal that in. And now I have a really cute, quick tag that I've done in just a matter of minutes for you guys. And that'll dry in just a few minutes, and I will have a really fun, quick tag using the um, mixers. The next thing I'm going to show is you can also use these as watercolors. So let me take the crystal lacquer one and put it to the side, pull myself another tag out. And I'm just going to take this simple stamped image and I'm going to ta um, stamp it onto this tag using just plain old black ink. You all know how to stamp. So this um, product can also be used as a watercolor. Remember that the paintbrush you used earlier can be cleaned out with just plain old water because crystal lacquer is water based. So now I have my stamped image on there. So this time, let's have a little more fun and let's bring out some of the shimmers. The shimmers have um, 
they're more of a shimmery, you know, glittery type medium instead of the other ones, which were more of a, uh, more of a glossy, or a, a image that's less translucent. And let's start coloring in the uh, flower image here, the stamp. Now this time, all the way at the bottom of each of the packages is a white package, and this is a binding agent. This time you have to use the binding agent to make these into watercolors. You didn't have to on that last technique I used, because that last technique I actually used the... Um, the water, the uh, crystal lacquer as my my binding agent. So the first thing I do is I put a tiny, tiny bit of water right here on my desk because I'm just going to make a real quick little watercolor for us here. First thing I do is I actually have a wet brush here and oh, come on, lid. Thank you. Get that lid off. This is how little, you need very little of the um, binding agent. So my brush is wet, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the binding agent. Tiny, tiny bit on my paintbrush. I don't want to mix that right into that uh, water I have going right there on my desk. And then I'm going to pick up, using that same brush, pull that in there, tiny bit of the powders, again, on my brush. And I'm mixing that in that water. And now, look at that beautiful color I have. So now. I can just use these as watercolors. And the shimmers are really wonderful to use as the watercolors because they have a really fun shimmery look at the end. And they um, they just sparkle and they're so cool looking. And I could continue to fill this whole image in, add more color if I want to on top of it. And I just got this lovely, beautiful watercolor image in no time at all. Isn't that pretty? Here's one that I actually did for you already. Use different colors because I want to show you more of the different um, colors that are available. So please check these out and pick them up. If you have any questions, you can either get a hold of Sakura Hobby Craft or you can even find me, Terry Sproul, on Facebook and I will be glad to help you out on these. So I hope you like our brand new product and if you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks for joining me in my studio today. I hope you enjoy this product and that you have a lot of fun with it. Remember, your, your ideas, your creativity is completely endless with this product. There's no waste with this product. And I'm going to be bringing you even more videos on what to do with their leftovers. So watch out for that. And thank you very much for purchasing these um, mixers. Have a wonderful day.